The Elgato Stream Deck is a fantastic piece of hardware, and I'm sure that any of you who own one can agree that it's made your life easier while streaming. A little while ago, Elgato released an update that allows people from the community to make plugins for the Stream Deck. So, let's go through my top 10 list of plugins for the Elgato Stream Deck. Before we get into the list, let's quickly go through how to access and install plugins. First, open the Stream Deck app on your computer. You can do this by searching for it in your start menu. Next, click on the store icon in the top right. Then go to plugins. Once you've found a plugin you want to install, simply press install. You'll then be able to find the plugin actions on the right hand side of your main screen on the Stream Deck app. The first plugin on the list is OBS Tools by Bar Raider. This plugin is designed to get more control over OBS Studio with your Stream Deck. Here are some of the actions I use the most. Filter Toggle, which lets you quickly toggle filters you've set for your sources. Previous Scene, which lets you return to the last scene you were just on. And Set Transition, which lets you quickly set the global transition that's being used across OBS. As you can see, there are heaps of useful functions in this plugin. I'm sure you'll find use out of at least one. Number two is the Spotify Integration plugin by Bar Raider. If you use Spotify, this one will be useful for you, whether it's on or off stream. Here are some of the actions I use the most. Playlist Start, which lets you select a specific playlist to start playing when you press the button. Remove Song from Playlist, which removes the currently playing song from the selected playlist. This one can be useful to quickly remove a song that might get you a DMCA strike. And Volume Set, which lets you set the volume of the music playing. Number three is the Cam Control plugin by Bar Raider. This plugin lets you quickly set many of your webcam settings from the Stream Deck. A great use for this is to create a multi-action button and have it execute multiple cam control actions at once, so you can completely set up your webcam with the push of one button. Number 4 is the If This Then That plugin by Toby Mori. For those of you that haven't heard of If This Then That, it's a service that allows you to fire specific events based on conditions you supply. This plugin lets your stream deck be the if part of If This Then That. So, for example, if I push this button on my stream deck, turn on my smart lights, or change the temperature of my smart thermostat, Though that's really just scratching the surface, and it goes way beyond smart home control. I recommend checking out the services that if this then that supports, you might get an idea of what you want to do with it. To make the Stream Deck action work, you'll need to input your Maker key. To find this, when you're logged into your if this then that account, visit the Webhooks integration page, there's a link in the description, and then click Documentation. This will bring you to the page that tells you your Maker key. When you're setting up the if part of a new applet, have it be Receive a Web Request, then give the event a name. This will be the name that you put into the Stream Deck action. After that, you can make the then that whatever you want. That may have been a little overwhelming for those of you who don't know much about if this then that, so I've linked a beginner's guide to it in the description. Number five is the voice mod plugin. If you haven't heard of voice mod, it's a software that allows you to apply a voice changer to your microphone. It has a heap of different effects. This plugin comes with a handful of useful actions that will quickly control the voice mod software instead of having to use keyboard macros or minimize your game. I've put a link in the description to the software if you're interested. Number 6 is the Stream Counter by Bar Raider. This plugin will be great for those of you who use, for example, a death counter on your stream. The button will give you two actions for your counter, a short press and a long press. It'll also let you set by how much your counter increases each time. First, you'll need to set up a file for it to work. Simply press the button next to file name and save a file somewhere on your computer. Now, to have this show up in OBS, you'll need to add a text source. Tick the read from file box, then click browse and find the file you just created. Now you'll see the number increases as you press the button on your stream deck. Number 7 isn't any one plugin in particular, but the many plugins you can use to control your smart home devices, such as Philips Hue, LifeX and Nanoleaf. Have a search in the store to see if someone has made a plugin to control your smart home devices. Number 8 is the CPU usage plugin by Elgato. It displays the current system CPU usage on the stream deck. It's a pretty simple one, but can definitely be useful, especially for those encoding their stream with their CPU. It's a good idea to keep an eye on things to make sure you're not going to start dropping frames. Number 9 is the Speed Test plugin by Bar Raider. This plugin lets you press a button and begin running an internet speed test. The results will then be displayed on the Stream Deck button. This can be super useful for those with inconsistent internet speeds. You can quickly run a speed test before you go live to check that your internet is currently up to the task of streaming. And number 10 is Win Tools by Bar Raider. There are some actions in this plugin that can be useful to your stream, but many of them can also be very useful off stream. Some of the most useful ones are App Audio Mixer. When you press this button, it brings up another screen on your stream deck that lets you quickly adjust the volume of the applications you have open. You can also press the application icons to toggle mute. 
Keyboard language. This one lets you quickly toggle between the keyboard languages you have installed in Windows. I can definitely see this one being useful for those who type in more than one language. And multi-clip. This action lets you have multiple clipboards that won't be replaced every time you copy something new. Each multi-clip action is its own clipboard. Simply long press to save the text you have selected, and then short press to paste it back out. Almost every action in this plugin is super useful, so it's definitely worth checking them out to see whether any can make your life easier. Well that's my list of the most useful plugins for the Stream Deck. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and if you're interested in my stream setup, I stream over at twitch.tv slash netto62. See you next time.